Hello and welcome everyone. Julio Petrovich here, product manager at NetAlly, to very super quickly show you how to perform an AP on a stick site survey using AirMapper. And notice guys that the process is the same for both the AirCheck G2 and the Etherscope, but today I'll use an Etherscope to show you how it works. And the way it works is pretty straightforward guys. Uh, first, just go to AirMapper. After that, First thing you'll need to do is make sure that you're using a descriptive a project name. So for example, in this case, I want to call this one AP on a stick demo. And I'll be using my first AP or I'll be locating the AP on a stick on the first location. You can also use a description if you want. Basically, the idea is that you will use the project name and description to keep track of the location of the AP on a stick. So this will be location number one. And now that that's done, I can start my survey. Notice that you have the option of highlighting where the AP on a stick is located by just adding a comment. So I can just tap and hold, something like that. Click on add a comment. And then I'm going to call this AP1, which will tell me that this is the, the first location of the AP on a stick. And now I just go to the normal survey process. So let's say I want to start here. So I just tap and go around the site. And you just continue. And basically, just repeat until you per you've finished the survey. After that, just tap on stop. You will now go and upload the results to Link Live. Make sure that the survey name, again, describes the location of the APN stick and upload the results to Link Live. Next, you'll proceed to clear the survey. Now we'll move our AP on a stick to the second location. And before we start the survey, we'll change the survey name or project name to AP2. That way we know that now this information or this file is showing the survey data for the second AP. So something like that. And now we just start again. And let's say in this case, our AP Gonna stick is now here. So we'll add a comment and call this AP2, for example. And now just do your survey as normal. When you're done, just upload the results to Link Live. And now, when we get to Link Live, basically you'll have multiple projects. For example, one for AP1, one for AP2. And now we want to merge these projects so we have an overall view of how the network will look like. So we just select the two files or survey projects. Then go here to the top of the screen, click on Merge into New, and we'll call this APOS Demo and Merged. Notice that you can use any name you want. I just call it like that. Then tap on Generate. 
we'll give it a few seconds. And now we have a new project here. Notice that you can, basically both Wi-Fi and Bluetooth data will be available. In this case, for this example, I'll just show you the Wi-Fi one. And there you go. Here we have both APs, AP1 and AP2. Notice that if you want to only look at the coverage of one of the APs, you can go to filters and use the survey filter, which is still the one at the bottom, to just select one of the APs. For example, let's say I want to look at AP1. Click apply. And now I can look at the coverage only for AP1. And that's it, guys. Uh, pretty straightforward. From here, you can just generate reports, use templates, and so on. Well, uh, that's it. Quick and simple. Thank you for watching. Thank you.